blood may be Chinese, but our roots grow deep in the Philippine soil. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart carries a lot of meaning for me because growing up in both cultures, I was taught to really value family. Proud ako to have uh, that mix in me. And I would say that it's uh, been instrumental to my success now. I went to international school, so some of parts of my ideologies are very Western also. And whether or not other people agree with me, so be it. I'm always aware of uh, being a Filipino at heart. I love this country, I love the Filipino people, and I'm deeply concerned about the future of this country. But at the same time, I'm proud of my Chinese ancestry, the deep roots that we have in China, and how my father succeeded in this country. This country provided him with the opportunity to make something of himself. Wala talaga akong preconceived notion of how a Chinese family works. Marami nang nagsasabi na, oh, ganyan-ganyan, pag Chinese, sigurado ka ba? How do you break the wall? We're not perfect, pero not just Chinese and Filipina or Chinese-Filipino couples who ask us for advice. Even like normal Filipino couples ask us, parang how do you find ba the right partner? position with a unique heritage and background and embracing your identity fully and trying to get the best parts of it. Hi, I'm Gretchen Ho. I'm Lin, and I'm a news anchor, a TV host, an athlete, and an advocate. I am Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart in many ways. Yung Ugaliko, the way I live my life. I'm very, very simple. I would like to say I'm very hardworking as well. I try to be wise with my finances, all of which I would attribute to my Chinese heritage. But most of all, I would say that, you know, in the midst of all the things that I want to do and I want to achieve, I never forget to care about the people around me. That would be a very Filipino trait. Proud ako to have uh, that mix in me. We share a common language where we want to see each other successful. So being part of that makes me tremendously proud. I stay rooted to my Chinese heritage by living out the values that have been taught to me, like hard work, simplicity, and frugality. Catch me on Chinoy TV's Chinese by Blood, Filipino by Heart on CNN Philippines. Para sa akin ng women empowerment is thriving and having the same equal opportunities as other men. I would read about amazing women going out into the provinces, offering their lives to people in the community. Sabi ko, parang gusto ko rin yun. I know I've been given a rare chance and not everybody gets the same kind of opportunities. And I have this with me. Ang tanong, what do I do with it? Our blood may be Chinese, but our roots grow deep in the Philippine soil.
Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Roots is brought to you by Dash Cargo, propelling possibilities. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific. Para sa akin ng women empowerment is thriving and having the same equal opportunities as other men. Hindi yung parang babae lang kami. My view of women empowerment is a world where men and women can stand shoulder to shoulder, embrace their unique strengths, and work together. growing up, I wanted to be many things. <laughs> wanted to be an NBA player. <laughs> I wanted to be a soldier. The world is our oyster. I can be a teacher. I can be a doctor. I can be this and that, a businessman. Parang pag pinapili ka at a young age, ang hinap pumili kasi nga parang how do you make those big life decisions at that moment. I came from, you know, um, a sheltered environment and I wanted to break out of it. I wanted to know more about the world. I didn't want to be on top of a hill. I was very conscious about my own upbringing and the way Chinese Filipinos were seen. And then I would read about uh, NGO workers or, or amazing women going out into the provinces, offering their lives to people in the community. I said, I just want to do that. I just want to do that. So, um, okay, development work, I wanted to do that. That's it. Uh, because of my very practical parents, they said, how can you help if you don't have any money? Wag ka na kumuha ng development studies. Parang you can do that later on when you have resources, when you have the money. Pwede ka naman tumulong, hindi lang naman, parang you don't need to make it your course. So, dahil masunurin ako, sinunod ko yung parents ko. That's why I took up management engineering. Just took it up as a minor development studies in Ateneo. Tapos, nung nasa Ateneo din ako, I would go to Payatas every weekend for Ateneo Christian Life Community because I wanted to get a better sense of how it is, um, how the marginalized people are. But the you know, yung development work was always in my heart. I always wanted to do public service. I grew up with three brothers, but I grew up also not wanting to be left behind <laughs> as, a, as a girl. Parang nagbabasketball sila lagi, tapos ayaw nila ako isali kasi babae ako. Baka daw, you know, naka-skirt ako, tapos baka hindi ako makasabay. And I would always say, hindi, sasaba ako, sasabay ako. Tapos makikipaglaban ako sa three-on-three. Three. Sometimes they would tease me. Siguro kasi pikunin ako ng bata, tapos Laban ako na laban na I would show them, di, kaya ko rin. Parang, what, parang why does my gender make me any different? So I guess, growing up with that kind of environment also made me very comfortable working together with men and boys. I don't feel like minamaliit ako kasi siguro lagi akong nakikisabay. Parang, it's normal to me. Um, but that developed me into a, I would say, a resilient person. I believe that women should never doubt that we are valuable. We are um, powerful, we are special, and we are deserving of the chances and opportunities given to us. Uh, gone were the days when the, when the woman is always somebody who stays at home, who takes care only of the family needs. Now, the Chinese Filipino women always stand side by side with their husbands. Well, I, I always say behind the success of Chinese businesses are always the women 
who encourage their husbands, who took care of the needs of the family so that the husband can do well. In the same way, the success of Chinese Filipino women behind her is always a confident husband. The husbands are confident enough to allow them to shine, to allow them to even do better than the husbands, no? and to stand side by side with them. As a woman, I believe we have been given the gift to love, to nurture, and to protect. And these gifts allow us to inspire, uplift, encourage, affirm the people around us. My mom was very supportive with my volleyball career when I was in high school. It was only at the start that she was kind of hesitant about it because she was afraid I wouldn't be able to balance my playing with my academics. But my mom, para she knew she had that leverage on me to, to, to discipline me. So when we fought, sabi niya, mag-quit ka na sa volleyball. <laughs> Sobrang grabe iyak talaga ako nun. Tapos, I think that was the first time that I prayed sincerely, intently. Sabi ko, Lord, please change my mom's mind about this. And if you do, I promise I'll dedicate my whole volleyball career to you. Yun, tapos nagbago yung isip ng mom ko. Tapos I started seeing the Lord in everything that I do. But when I showed her that I could, she, she you know, really wanted to support me all the way, even to the point of watching my games. I started out in the industry being a volleyball player for Ateneo. That was really how I was known by a lot of people in the volleyball court, playing for the blue and white. And I spent about five years doing that. And after my volleyball years, I did two years professional volleyball muna. And then that's when I transitioned into doing media work as a TV host. Grace Christian College sits in a seven-hectare land here in Quezon City. Can you tell us a brief background of Savior School? How do you integrate the two cultures together? I just really made a conscious effort to move away from what I knew and where I came from to be able to immerse myself in a different environment and culture and to understand it. Siguro ano, pressure din yung ano, yung sinasabi na, Maganda ako, di ba? Ganda mo. Para siguro, ano, maganda ka lang. <laughs> diba? People love to put labels on everyone. Pero, na-realize ko rin na parang babalik ko. Teka, anong, anong mali sa pagiging maganda? Eh, maganda ako. Di ba? Parang ganun eh. Maganda ako, pero hindi lang ako maganda. Parang I'm also a good person. I'm also this and that because I really work hard and strive hard. And now that I'm much more secure and confident in myself, I don't mind that people see me for my looks first. <laughs> and I don't mind being underestimated. Let me do my thing and I'll show you. As long as I know that I give integrity to my work, like I do it justice, okay na ako because they are educated in the same way as the males are educated. They receive a higher education. And they're allowed to grow and to prosper and to be their own persons. Sa Confucian hierarchy, in many ways, napakataas ng lalaki. Mamami sa mga political leaders, lalaki. No? At yung babae, sila yung ano, asawa, sila yung katuwang. Pero eventually, mag-iiba yan dahil, yun na nga, pagdating ng panahon, magkakaroon ng change of perspective about women. Feminism, di ba? At pag pumunta na sa universities yung mga Chinoy na nagkaroon ng pera, di ba? Magkakaroon sila ng ibang perspective about kung sino sila. And they will become more independent. 
growing up, we saw our parents struggle sa business. We invested in businesses that had a relatively short span. Ito sabi ng dad ko, Okay, hirap mag-business. Uh, wag na kayo mag-business. Please, mag-profession na lang kayo. Choose a profession and have business as a fallback. So that's why my eldest brother became a lawyer. My second brother became a doctor. And I'm in the media. And then the Punso became a finance person. We are all also into public service. Para same heart kami in helping. Parang unahin natin yung tumulong muna tayo sa ibang tao. Parang mayroon siguro kami mga learnings from our parents. We tried to pick up which parts of the culture that we like, which parts of the culture we want to improve on. And that has helped us be better. To be modern Chinois, I guess. Being a, um, a public personality, I was doing showbiz, I was doing entertainment work, but I was also dabbling in news. Nalubog muli sa baha ang ilang lugar sa Visayas at Mindanao at dahil sa walang tigil na pagulang dala ng low pressure area at sheer line. If I were to enter the media industry, like I really want to take the craft seriously. Sabi nila, MB ka, ba't ka nag-showbiz? Pero ang sayang naman inaaral mo. Parang ko talaga, eh pag sinasabihin ako ng gano'n, lalo ko lang gigigil, I want to prove them wrong. <laughs> I wanted to show them that there was a way to turn this narrative around. It's still very difficult for a woman to be respected as a business leader. Pero nakikita mo ngayon, ang dami ng Chinoy business women na nag-emerge. Ako nga, uh, gusto ko lang magkwento tungkol sa women empowerment na nakita ko sa loob ng kulungan. Sa kulungan, marami talagang mga elderly na babae, maraming nanay. Uh, nakikita ko yung mga kababaihan, hindi nila hinahayaan na ang pagiging babae nila o pagiging nakakulong, hindi yun nagiging hadlang para makagawa sila ng mabuti. Natutuwa nga ako tuwing nakikita ko ang mga mga nakakulong na babae, kahit na, lalo na yung iba sa kanila hindi nakapag-aral. Women empowerment means that you will not allow any negative circumstances to stop us from achieving things which will make us happy and fulfilled. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Roots is brought to you by Landlight, your total lighting solution. Poland Hopia. Chinese General Hospital and Medical Center. Exceptional care within reach. AgriPro Premier Nutrition Inc. GAOC Jimmy C. Chua Beng Tang Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation Japan Parts Trading Center Alejandro Ko Global Diesel and GU Engineering Enrique Chua Sherwin Choi Albert Ko Jersey Haven, Veco Paper, Water Care, PG Flex Linoleum, and Maruyama Tarpaulin. Ford Tractor Philippines, your long-term agriculture partner. Tony D. William Goshako. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Para sa akin, yung ginagawa ko na. Para I'm, I'm in worlds where that are dominated by men. I feel like that already strong, sends a strong message to other girls. Kasi makita lang nila na may babae na sa role na ito. Yun na yun eh. Yun na yung ano, eh, signal na pwede, na kaya. You can be in the media, and you can be in showbiz, and you can be a host and all that, and be respectable. Parang it doesn't have to be looked down on. And when I entered the media industry, I saw 
so many showbiz personalities kasi syempre bilang Chinese Filipino conservative minsan yung tingin mo sa showbiz di ba pagdating ko doon sobrang humbling kasi ang daming masisipag ang daming tao sa industriya that they really came from nothing and then you know that they're just trying to make an honest living do their best according to the way they know how make the most out of their talents tumaas talaga yung respeto ko sa lahat yung mga stereotypes sa mga Chinoy mayaman parang feeling nila wala kami masyadong problema sa finances very stoic unemotional So, nung pumasok ako sa media industry, I took a look at myself. Parang, it's because of my upbringing. Like, ano ako, um, medyo stiff ng konti. Kasi, yun nga, nasanay kami dito sa bahay na pag may problema kami, we don't talk about it. Whereas, compared to Filipino family, pagka nagkatampuhan, alam na agad eh. Kasi, yun nga, nilalabas ka agad eh. Sa Chinese family, hindi masyadong ganun eh. Mas parang tahimik yung tampuhan. So, ako din... Ganon din ako. Siguro pa nakikita mo yung mga past photos ko, past hosting. Very, ano ako, straightforward, flat, <laughs> boring, I would say. Kaya sabi ko, okay, hindi ako pwede ganito. Ako mag-showbiz ako, mag-host ako on TV. You know, I need to break out of that. I need to, like, reinvent myself, evolve as a person. And that's why I allowed my work in showbiz and in media to kind of shape who I am. So I came in with a blank slate, just absorbing everything and allowing people to teach me, allowing them to comment on me, to criticize me. And I would watch also my reels on TV. And I would, you know, I think I would be very hard on myself. Kasi nga, gusto ko talaga mag-improve. So yun yung natutunan ko sa mga mentors ko. I feel like I'm in a unique position to impact other people in big ways. For example, if, if I didn't have all those connections that I established through my showbiz network and through endorsements and through yung ganon, I wouldn't have resources to do my show, Woman in Action. So now I, have, I do my own production, I hire people, and alam ko na yung digital. It's just that yung, yung, the, the journalism part I'm working on now and I want to do it right. So, parang kumbaga sumakto sa panahon. <laughs> and I'm very careful about it because I know that it's a rare opportunity to be allowed to do news and to be allowed to do all those things. But I don't take it lightly that I'm being trusted with that. But I have the responsibility to take care of that trust that whatever I do has its own consequence. Now, unlike before, when it's limited to just the household and people frown upon women who have to to work and uh, to try their hands, for example, in businesses. No, now they they have a uh, free reign to do what what they want. No, and it, they have to take adv- advantage of that. Many families are still very patriarchal. No, uh, preference for the females. So. Nagkakaroon na ng ibang pananaw uh, sa mga ano, babae, no? And in fact, ang dami na rin businesswomen na sila mismo yung humahawak ng mga negosyo. Isang phenomenon din yun na hindi na kasarian yung tinitingnan Yung abilidad na, yung diskarte mo, di ba? Mas yun na yung tinitingnan. I think Chinese Filipinos value loyalty a lot. So when they say something, I would like to think that they they follow through and inaalagaan talaga nila yung kapwa nila Chinese Filipino. I've experienced that in my own career. So a lot of uh, Chinese Filipinos have gotten me as their host and then they like my services so they got me every year. <laughs> Tapos there's a sense of trust in that na pinapahalagahan. So ako din, ganoon din ako with my dealings, with my transactions. I value loyalty and trust. So yung Woman in Action would became synonymous to me because it was on my social media pages. And then 
2020 pandemic, uh, 30th birthday ko, I decided to launch it into a personal brand, trademark. And then I didn't know what to do with it. And then I wanted to help. Sabi ko, paano ba ako tutulong in this time of need without just giving dole outs? So sabi ko, ah, bike na lang. Kasi nag- gumawa kami ng YouTube content. And then at the end of the, the, the YouTube content, exploring bike lanes on EDSA, we gave two bikes to two people who lost their jobs. Tapos mangiyak-ngiyak sila kasi yung isa, parang sinabi niya sa akin, Four hours bago pumasok, oh. tapos umuwi ako ulit ako ng four hours, ibig sabihin eight hours, tapos duty ko, 12 hours, 20 hours na. I uh, want to do a fundraiser and people can apply for the bikes. So, in-announce ko siya sa social media, nag-viral. Tapos, hanggang sa umabot na sa 1,000. Tapos, we went around 10 cities. Parang I got a team of volunteers. And getting talaga ni Lord kasi he was the one who brought, I feel like he was the one who brought the people to me. Naniniwala ako na parang minsan hindi planado ang bagay-bagay. Kahit ako, nung pumasok ako dito sa volunteer work, it's unplanned. Hindi siya yung parang, ay, gusto ko after ilan years dito ako, dito. Wala. Dumating siya dahil nakita ko lang yung pangangailangan. And if you believe in your heart, you are called to do volunteer work, just be open. Just be open to the opportunities that are presented to you. I felt like I was at a place where I had to step up and be a conduit to blessing. Parang sabi ko kasi I can choose to like turn away donations and not do this, but that would not make sense, di ba? Parang might as well. Parang sigi nga kahit di ko na alam ginagawa ko, may oras naman ako sigi gagawin ko na. My view of public service is that everybody should win um, to make it sustainable, to not go through donor fatigue. Um, the donor should win, meaning nararamdaman niya kung saan niya pinibigay yung tulong niya at naiintindihan niya yung halaga. And the people that we help should win, meaning it's not just a temporary kind of help that you know would last for a day. So if everybody wins, then you take care of that energy that you have in giving and helping each other. So yun yung, yun yung vision ko of public service. There's always a place and a time for everything. Be brave enough to always follow your dreams. Uh, do not be discouraged when people say, you're a woman, you should not be doing that. No? Things will always happen. That's meant to happen and uh, just be brave enough to follow your dreams and uh, work hard so that you achieve them. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Roots is brought to you by John Deere, world's number one tractor brand by Go Tractora. Real Estate Hub. AgriPro Premier Nutrition Inc. Skylaw. Jimmy C. Chua Beng Tang. Nation Paper Products and Printing Corporation. Japan Parts Trading Center. Alejandro Ko. Global Diesel and GU Engineering. Anson Tan. Enrique Chua. Sherwin Choi. Albert Ko. Jersey Haven. Han Kwan, Thomas Kua, Philflex Wires and Cables, Ford Tractor Philippines, your long-term agriculture partner, Chen Zixia, Nung Family, Tony D, William Goshako. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. I understand that to succeed in this industry, you will not only need talent. Me being here in the industry, me working hard day in, day out, putting in the hours, 
you will also need again the right time the right people to help you the right everything so kailangan pangalagaan mo yun kasi I know na yun na parang nilagay ako dito sa spot na to kasi may purpose ang Panginoon and I get to do many things I get to maximize my potential and my life I feel like it can also be empowering for other women to choose the same I just try to do what I can right now. The rewarding thing about doing public service is that everything makes sense. Meaning, I can help where I'm at. Kung ano man yung binigay sa akin ni Lord na talent and gift, I can probably use that to be able to have a platform to help other people. I know I've been given a rare chance and not everybody gets the same kind of opportunities. And I have this with me and tanong, what do I do with it? Ako po si Gretchen Ho. Simple lang naman po yung, uh, no, yung handog namin po sa inyo sa aming pagpunta dito. Kaya kahit pa paano, sana makatulong po kami. You know, in the midst of all the things that I want to do and I want to achieve, I never forget to care about the people around me, the, the personal lives of each and everyone. And yung ano eh, pagiging maalaga, pagiging hospitable, pagiging personal with the people around you is very Filipino. I am Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Proud ako to have uh, that mix in me. <laughs> and I would say that uh, it's, it's uh, been instrumental to my success now. I would like to say I'm very hardworking as well. I try to be wise with my finances, all of which I would attribute to my Chinese heritage because I saw that growing up with my dad and my mom, they were very simple. They would teach us how to save, how to earn things, how to be content with what we had, and how to work hard in, in school. I think for, for young Chinois, to be able to take on a path less traveled, they just have to be courageous enough to go beyond the mold, to really understand deep within their hearts what it is they want to do and to pursue that and to also acknowledge your own weaknesses and your own flaws and the parts of you that you want to improve and be better with. You are in a unique position with a unique heritage and background, embrace it. But doesn't mean that it has to determine who you're going to be. You still have the control over that. Pero kailangan maintindihan mo why you're doing things. I mean, some people can go as far as, I want to earn a living. I want to have a successful business. But I challenge them to go beyond that. Parang, what, what can you do more than just earning a living, making money? I feel like that would bring out the highest potential of the Chinese-Filipino community if we always go to that question. What can we do for others? Most people still see me as a foreigner, but at the same time, when I start speaking, when I start talking to them about different topics about the Philippines, they'll be able to be like, ah, ito, Pinoy pala to. I wish people are more open-minded in a way to accept that hindi naman lahat dapat, you know, a particular look, then that's the only way to define what a Filipino is. Like, a lot of us actually are more Filipino than Chinese to a certain extent. Like, it doesn't have to be a half in order to be to, to be seen as in you know, 100% Filipino or 100% whatever that other country is. Chinese by blood, Filipino by heart. Hashtag Roots was brought to you by Dash Cargo, propelling possibilities. BA Securities, your trading partner in Asia Pacific.